Lightning flickers somewhere in Earth's atmosphere dozens of times every second. Most of these electrical flashes remain in the clouds, with only about a fifth of them reaching low enough to strike trees, buildings, or the ground. Yet lightning bolts in the clouds deliver a unique and powerful punch of their own. They're directly linked to events that produce some of the highest energy radiation naturally found on Earth. Terrestrial gamma ray flashes, or TGFs for short. Created by the hottest, most violent, and most energetic objects and events in the universe, gamma rays travel across vast stretches of space, only to be absorbed by Earth's atmosphere. Scientists had no way to detect and study gamma rays from the cosmos until high-altitude balloons and rockets carried gamma ray sensors above the atmosphere. Deadly to humans, gamma rays are created on Earth by natural radioactive decay, by nuclear explosions, and even by the lightning and thunderstorms. Coronal mass ejections from our sun emit gamma rays, followed by masses of charged particles. Monitoring these gamma rays provides scientists with an early warning of incoming charged particles that may cause disruptions in power and communication networks. The most energetic of all EM waves, gamma rays carry enough energy to kill living cells. Doctors are able to selectively use gamma radiation to destroy cancer growths. Gamma ray wavelengths are the shortest of all electromagnetic waves, about the size of an atom's nucleus. In fact, it is so short that the rays sail through atoms as easily as comets sail through our solar system. This makes detecting gamma rays difficult for scientists. Gamma ray detectors typically contain densely packed crystal blocks. As gamma rays pass through, they collide with electrons in the crystal. The sensor doesn't directly detect gamma rays, Rather, it detects the charged particles created by those collisions.
Around the world, at any given moment, 2,000 thunderstorms are churning through the sky, producing up to 100 flashes of lightning every second. Lightning might seem like something we've got all figured out, but in fact, the details of the physics behind those flashes is still a bit of a mystery. Los Alamos National Laboratory studies lightning because it produces signals similar to those from a nuclear explosion. That understanding is helping us develop better instruments for nuclear test ban treaty monitoring and, in the process, allowing us to answer a lot of questions about lightning itself. For example, what initiates lightning? Some say it's caused by cosmic rays scattering enough electrons through the atmosphere to get a current going. But recent research conducted by Los Alamos scientists and their collaborators strongly suggests that lightning actually arises from areas of extremely high, localized electric fields, not from the long paths that a cosmic ray-induced event would require. We're also learning that lightning can be a useful tool. Research shows that enhanced lightning rates can indicate severe weather. Maybe someday our understanding of lightning will allow us to use space-based lightning detection to predict tornadoes and other severe weather events with enough lead time to prevent casualties. Until then, Los Alamos will keep studying and better understanding those mysterious energetic streaks in the sky.